first thing we need to know is to think like a gopher. So gophers make their tunnel systems Okay, terrible drawing, but this is the gopher tunnel. And these are the holes that they put up where you get your gopher piles, right? That right there. Now the gopher fills this tunnel up with dirt all the way like this. So they know when their tunnel system has been breached. You need to determine, they will abandon different holes if they're not in that area. So you need to determine where the gopher is. The way I do that is a couple ways. One, I look for new piles. The second way is I knock all the piles down and look to where the gophers are doing their thing. Third way is to try to find a recent pile, dig it out, put a trap in there, and then come back and see whether or not the gophers pushed dirt up. Usually that's not a good way to do it. I haven't been too successful getting gophers that way. But it does, putting the trap in a test hole you do have a chance of getting a gopher but usually once they see that this whole area is open they start pushing dirt from way back to push it in and they just basically bury the trap need to determine if you got a gopher or where you got a gopher and what's the best thing to do for that gopher I have three methods of dispatching gophers. Two of them are here. The first one is the hose. The garden hose and these traps, I'm about equal on, same amount of gophers. This one, I've only gotten one gopher with it, and that's not because of some failure or flaw in the trap. It's because the ground here is so hard that these things don't really work out so well. The garden hose, you find the gopher, knock all the piles down, and then wait for a fresh pile to turn up. Usually that gopher will be somewhere really close to that pile. You shove the hose down in there, and you start the water running. And a lot of times, you know, it'll run forever and you won't be able to do much with it, but it will flush the gopher out to where the hole is because they want to get to the air. And usually there you can you know take care of them or you leave it running and it will fill up the entire tunnel system and once it does that the gopher will work his way out somewhere and you can usually catch them coming out of the ground and get them that way i've also had them hanging out there right by the hole and snorkeling up and down trying to get air and you can usually get them there this you have to stick them these traps most effective if you come through the hole and stick them in the main tunnel system so you can get these guys either way one this way one this way that's how you take care of those and then these you basically there's another part to this you make the hole with this you stick you find their hole make the hole with that you stick that in there they walk through and it gets them those are the three main methods that I use to get these gophers I've already set out a test trap and I've determined that this particular tunnel system is active I'm gonna go out there right now I buried it again this morning I'm gonna go out there now and I'm gonna see whether or not I managed to get a gopher putting that trap back in there, which I doubt they're just gonna, because the trap was in the tunnel here, or in the, the hole, 
they're just going to shove the dirt up and bury it so we're going to go deeper dig all of that out and get them into these systems and if i can i'm going to try to put these in so that's where we're going from here see the gopher repacked everything so we're going to dig this whole thing out and we're going to reset this trap we're going to set it down in the tunnel let's, let's see what we got Yeah, see, they just push it from the tunnel system up into the opening. It's possible to get them this way. It's pretty rare. See the trap? The trap doesn't even go off. They just, they bury it before it even gets close. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, whoops, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dig this out down into the, Till we can get into that tunnel and we're gonna put it right in the tunnel not in the opening Yeah, see, so you can feel where that's the tunnel right there, right there. So we're going to use this one and we're going to try it out, see how he does. Maybe really hard to get this in this dirt. That's really how that does there. And then we'll put this one in here. And we'll see whether or not we get a gopher. Come back in the morning. See what we got. So he's back. See? And not likely we got him, but... Trap didn't even go off, so we might have had him, but all right. Let's uh let's go get some more stuff. He refilled this and he didn't the trap didn't trigger because it was dirty. But if you look at this one, I put this in a different spot. If you look at it, it's yellow which means it's been sprung. Now I've had that happen before and that doesn't actually mean anything because they can spring them and not actually get caught in them. So we're gonna see.
what I like to do is fill in the holes because we have those Sonoran little ground squirrels and they will run gophers out of their holes and take over the tunnel system. They will also, if you leave the holes open, they will just move into the system itself. Here's the trap. I'm going to go ahead and spring it. I'm going to take that out of here and bury them all up. That's it. Bye bye, gopher.